Hello and welcome to this uh, first lecture of this new section uh, parts identification and process design in this course on developing winning prototype. I am Arun Singhal, your management coach and mentor with 40 years of experience in people development. So in this sec new section, what we will try and do is to give you a good understanding of how to go about identifying the parts and the process, design the process for the product, the CTQs that you have developed to help you develop a prototype to build your business. And in this specifically specific lecture, we will begin this uh, section of parts identification and process design by understanding how can we develop a correlation between the design and the parts requirements, the product requirement. Parts and product requirements are synonyms that we have been using as words here, right? So how can you go about identifying parts and designing the process? Any thoughts? That's which is the third step of our, which so we have come the two steps, we have determined CTQs, we have developed the design requirements, then we have developed the best design ideas. So how would we now go ahead identifying the parts and designing the process? Any thoughts? Okay. So we start with, uh, uh, we, we use uh, house of quality again, as you will see later on. And what we start is we need to feed into that the product requirements or the part requirements that we need to have and then go on to uh, design the process as you see on your screen now. And uh, what let's recap what we have done so far is we have also we know we have a robust design idea or ideas couple of design ideas that we can take it forward. And what we now need to do is to determine the corresponding product or parts requirement. The product here meaning the kind of parts that we need, we need to determine that, right? So how can we develop the correlation between design and the parts or product requirements? Any thoughts on this? And I might have answered this right in the beginning. Let's see if you can catch this. Okay, so this we do by using the QFD process again and we go to the second QFD, QFD2, which basically now maps the design requirements that we have translated to the best design idea and then from there we determine the product requirements, right? So we will use the QFD2 like we have done in QFD1 in determining the product requirements. How do we do that? That's the exact thing that we will discuss the detailed steps in the next lecture of uh, developing this QFT process and you will actually see the output or uh, using the water purifier example that we have been running across, right? So thank you so much for watching this first lecture of parts identification and process design section in this course on winning prototype development. I hope you are beginning to learn something new in this section as well and you are beginning to like it and I look forward to see you again in the next lecture.